they constantly come up with new things that you need. You need this and you need this and you need this and you need this in order to be successful. But I will tell you what you really need to be successful. Good morning. Today I want to share another uh, advice I have for new beekeepers. I am uh, feeding my bees. It's a beautiful morning. At night we have we had temperatures down to 30s and now it's above 50, just barely above 50 so the bees are flying and I'm feeding them. Look how how happy they are. So today I want to talk uh, to new beekeepers about something very simple, but m many times uh, people don't think about it. They want to go into beekeeping and then they start watching different channels and uh, buying catalogs and uh, books, uh, watching uh, online courses. And uh, it can be very confusing and there is a lot of information I have something different to say. Uh, please uh, uh, realize that beekeeping is really a lifestyle for most of us. It has been always uh, somewhat a special activity associated, associated with a natural lifestyle, wisdom, uh, healing, uh, medicine. And it has been always transmitted from a beekeeper to a beekeeper, from a father to son. And that's how wisdom is transmitted. So my advice to you is uh, don't try to learn from uh, commercial beekeepers. Uh, they have a lot of knowledge, but they're running a business. They, and I understand that. They want to sell equipment. They want to sell honey. They constantly come up with new things that you need. You need this and you need this and you need this and you need this in order to be successful. But I will tell you what you really need to be successful. You need to become an apprentice to an older beekeeper. And you have to be the apprentice to a beekeeper for at least a year. A year because it's it's a full cycle, especially here in the United States. We have four seasons, three seasons. We have winter, then we have spring. And the bee colony, the bee family goes through a whole natural life cycle throughout a year. And you need to be with an experienced beekeeper throughout that year, working with bees. And he will show you, he will show you the dynamic between the family and what's happening in nature, between the temperature, how the plants are blooming, how the bees are responding to it. And it's priceless. Um, it is very hard to learn from books or from just online courses or from just watching videos. You have to have that connection with an older beekeeper. And it's not really hard to do, but you have to be sincere. In your neighborhood where you live, I assure you there are beekeepers and many of them have been keeping bees uh, for generations and that's, that's great. But they don't advertise, they don't walk on the streets and say, oh, I have a huge apiary, I have 50 hives, I have 100 hives. They usually keep bees uh, 5, 6, 10, 20 hives and uh, they supply honey to their community, family, friends. They pay their bills with honey, just like I do. And they are a well of information and they are capable of transmitting the true wisdom of beekeeping, that lifestyle, that, that, that very soulful approach to beekeeping. Seek a person like this and introduce yourself and tell them that you want to learn beekeeping and they will say that they don't teach. And that's very good. It's a good sign. They want to test if you are sincere. And I assure you, if you are sincere, they will teach you. Bring them a gift, show up again, 
prove that you are truly sincere, that you want to uh, learn beekeeping and uh, spend some time with them. Sooner or later they will warm up to you and they will uh, teach you everything, they will give you bees, they will be happy to do so because as beekeepers really we owe it to the bees. We treat our bees like our children. We do not give them to just anybody. But if we find somebody, uh, then uh, we like that person and you see that this person has the potential to, to have that soulful connection with, with bees, with hives, uh, then they, they, they are very, very happy. They will take care of you, they will give you the bees, they will share equipment. You won't have to worry about it. And you will experience something that we humans have been enjoying for centuries, thousands of years, a true art of apprenticeship, where you are working with somebody older, like an archetype of an old wise man, and he will not only teach you about the bees, but he will teach you about plants and weather and, and his, his soulful approach to beekeeping that he has developed and it got transmitted to to him from from his his teacher uh, so this is what i really would like to encourage you otherwise uh, beekeeping is is, is is a very steep learning curve and it's very easy to lose it because all of a sudden it will be too much and you won't know what's 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 what, what what's going on uh, just to work with a huge hive in the middle of summer, open it, there are thousands, 20,000 bees boiling over, it's hot. You have to light the smoker, you have to go through this hive, you have to find out if they have a queen, if everything is fine, if the dynamic is fine, if they are maybe preparing for swarming, maybe not. Uh, it can be absolutely overwhelming. But working with an older person who has been uh, a beekeeper his whole life, maybe generations, uh, he will teach you simple things. You will be able to open a hive and within a uh, few minutes, even without going through the hive, without working too much, you will, you will know exactly what's going on and you will feel this connection. Uh, and working with bees is very beneficial for your health. They... Uh, produce a certain vibrational rate uh, that calms us humans and induces a feeling of, of wellness. Uh, working with a hive for, for an hour, two hours, opening the hive, listening to their hum, uh, the sound they are producing, I hope you can hear it right now, it is very beneficial to your health. And working with honey, working with with bees, being exposed to this will make you a different, deeper, soulful person. You will develop a connection to yourself and to nature. Your eyes will be open. It's truly wonderful. So, like I said in the beginning, I am I'm feeding my bees. Here in Virginia, we have really a wonderful climate because winters are not that cold so what i do throughout the winter i can actually feed them whenever i want whenever the temperatures are way above 50 and many many days in winter time we have temperatures above 50 so all i do is just mix sugar water then uh, next time i will show you how to how to show the bees where the food is it's very cool, it's my own trick, I like it, I will record it, next video I will show you how to do this. Uh, and uh, I just feed them right in front of their hives. At this location I have four hives, here they are, very happy, sugar water. Hope you enjoy this video, I'm learning. I got myself a microphone, but I don't know how to hook it up. Uh, please leave comments, please leave likes, subscribe to my channel. I'm just warming up. All the best. Thank you.